Machado goes. He's waited till Palo has flown just too many times. And look at that. Pedro Delgado has sprouted wings. Pedro Delgado on the climb to the summit at Lozardi Den yesterday. And he was on a flyer too, wasn't he? Good evening. Delgado beginning to take on this tour single-handedly. Not suggesting for a moment that he's got it won. It's far too early for that. But it is becoming increasingly more difficult to find anybody who's going to stop him. Terrific scenes on the summit at uh, Lazardi Den yesterday, weren't they? Enormous crowds proving that the tour is as popular as ever. And good to see that popularity spreading too. These boots might well belong to Regis Claire of the Tika outfit. Not so. They're in fact on the feet of another visitor to Channel 4's base here in London. And these three lads updating themselves with the latest information in our window here. We've had some smashing letters again and some nice write-ups too in the press and we thank you for that. Back to the important business, two stages today, a short burst from Tard this morning, which is where we find Phil Liggett. And Phil, what news of Sean Kelly, who we know had a back problem when he finished last night? And the news this morning, Richard, is that Sean Kelly is going to continue in the Tour de France, despite this problem with his back. He really is a rider who will just not give up, and I like him for that. Well, yesterday, two or three British riders, they had a tough day as well, but they finished in the end with distinction. Robert Miller coming home with Sean Yates and Malcolm Elliott not too far behind both of them. And, of course, three of the race favourites, at least three of the pre-race favourites, went out of the Tour de France yesterday. Charlie Motti, Jean-Francois Bernard and Urs Zimmermann. Well, there was controversy as well yesterday, Richard, because in all the melee, in all the cars behind on the mountains, there's complaints that uh, riders were being towed and pulled by the vehicles, and Eddie Plankett, the rider in the green jersey, was fined 25 points in that competition, which really puts Sean Kelly back in with a chance of that competition. A little unfair, I think, because his team manager said he counted at least 80 riders taking tows, and none of those were fined. Well, today the sun is out, the mountains are to my left, the flat roads to the right, and the riders have been having breakfast this morning at 6.30. It's a double dose today, the 38 kilometres this morning to Poe, that'll be quick, and then the long, hot haul to Bordeaux this afternoon, and that'll be hard. Thanks, Phil. Well, let's just confirm that information for you. Tarb to Poe this morning, just 24 miles. After lunch, it's on to Bordeaux, 130 miles. Malcolm Elliott finished third in Bordeaux last year, and he might well fancy having another go today. Let's join Phil Liggett on the first leg into Poe. And so this morning it was the shortest stage in the history of the Tour de France. Jean-Paul Van Poppel here thinking that maybe it's his turn again with one of the riders there shouting, let's go slow boys, we're out of the mountains. There are the field of survivors in the Tour de France who has come towards the flatlands again. One of the happy riders there this morning, Sean Yates alongside Martin Early. And Raoul Alcala getting the hammer down on the head of Vicente Belda, number 182. The field now underway and they've certainly got down to the action. It's a long straight road here on this 38 kilometre ride between Tarb and Poe. Joel Tellier there in the green and black who's passed uh, rapidly through the back of the field. You could, we would expect to see at the front of the group the ADR team backing up Eddie Plank at the tyre. Taxman quickly, Eddie Kadichu having a go on the far side. The champion of France here, but the Super Confex boys back in command again, driving the field along with the ADR team. These are the ADR in the sort of lime green, very similar colours to the all green of Super Confex. Now we're in Poe here, led by the man who won in the mountains, Massimo Garotto, leading out Guido Bontempi on his wheel, up this short, nasty little climb as they approach into the finish in Poe. And there's Etienne de Will, the champion of Belgium, going on the left. And on the far right here is Bontempi. As we look now on the left of the picture, Bontempi on the front, leading out Davis Finney on the right, on the right there in the black, just falling behind. Actually, Van der Poel on the line. Van der Poel gets it, by De Wilder is in second. Third place there going to Davis Finney. Very close finish with uh, Guido Bontempi. Malcolm Elliott not quite in touch with those four, but he will get fifth place. And we can look at that again. Uh, Malcolm Elliott is the third rider on the right of the picture here, be behind the black jersey of De Wilder. Look at the speed here of Van der Poel as he hits the line. So it'll be Van der Poel gets his win. The black of De Wilder is second. Very close finish there, but Finney will be third. Oh, I just didn't have the power, and uh, Van der Poel was, just happened to be in front. I think it was a good finish, for him, a good uh, hard finish for him, you know. Well, the finish this afternoon in Bordeaux by the uh, by the lake is a lot flatter, and uh, it's kind of it's the kind of uh, finish that should suit you a lot better. 
it would suit me and it would suit a lot of others much better too with the guys like uh, Plankart, DeWild, Van Tempe. They, those guys go very fast on, on a flat finish. So, uh, you yeah, know, I mean, uh, obviously I would like to do well, but... but uh, Mark, you remember last year when you finished third there? Surely that's got to be good for the morale and uh, Bordeaux has always been a good finish for the British riders. It has, yeah. That said, it's a different finish to last year and uh, so I'm going to be coming in again. We don't have a circuit as we did last year. I think I prefer a, a circuit finish. Malcolm Elliott with Paul Schoen and Malcolm obviously likes this part of the world, doesn't he? Join us in a couple of minutes. We're on the second stage on our way to Bordeaux.